Perhaps what are they doing the raindrops? They are infiltrating rather slowly. And as the raindrops are naturally a little bit easy, each drop is able to dissolve a very small part of the limestone which is brought with every drops that go deeper and deeper. And when those drops arrive at the surface of the vault or at the surface of the wall, it happens a second chemical reaction with the air. Then the dissolved limestone, which is called the calcite, as the calcite is the name of this white stone, the limestone that has been dissolved by the raindrops, the calcite will first stay hanging at the vault to form what we call the stalactite, the stalactite of the dripstone that are going from the top to the bottom, or fall to the ground to form the stalagmite, which are growing from the bottom to the top. And if they are meeting each other with the time that is possible, they join to form what we just call the column. The column is the union uh, of a stalactite above and a stalagmite below. And those three phenomena are happening only if drops are falling. But from time to time, drops are not falling. They are flowing along the wall. Then the calcite of the white stone can differently stay hanging. It can start like this. The uh, white lines you see there, this is also calcite that has been left there by the flowing raindrops.